We should absolutely abolish undercover policing. I'm Eliza Orleans, career public defender here in Manhattan for the last 14 years. In the name of safety, we have basically allowed these professional liars to go into situations, mislead and misrepresent people, be abusive, basically do the equivalent of what we think of commonly as entrapment, although it's a very high standard to meet, so it's, it's very difficult to use as a defense. And it is just insane. Undercover police officers are allowed to, and do in fact engage in criminal activity. They are able to engage in drug transactions, they can do other things and engage in trafficking to maintain a secret identity. So we should be not just upset about their professional lying, but also this authorized criminality that they're allowed to engage in, you know, printing counterfeit bills or selling stolen goods. It's absolutely wild. I think one of the worst cases I had was a client who was dealing with a very severe substance use disorder and a he was coming out of his own methadone clinic where he was receiving medication to combat his own addiction and a undercover police officer came up to him, pretended to be dope sick, pretended to also be dealing with his own addiction and begged my client to hand over his own prescription methadone. The client was like, no man, I don't, I don't deal. I don't do anything like this is just for me. It's personal, whatever. And the guy begged and begged and begged and client finally gave him something because he was like, I've been there, you know, I've been that dope sick and I just wanted to help this guy out. And then of course it turned out it was an undercover police officer. My client got charged with felony sale of a narcotic to an undercover officer disgusting, despicable behavior. And yeah, we should get rid of undercover cops. Feel free to leave other questions in the comments and like and follow for more and share if you found this interesting. Thanks for being here.